Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you from an echoey office. As promised in the last vlog, Nala literally has not stopped walking around the house and it is so distracting. She's got a new collar and it's extra jingly and she will not settle basically at the moment because all of the stuff is still all over my house. Today is the day that I'm putting everything back where it belongs and it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be such a zen space, but she won't settle when things are like up in the air. So all I can hear is like constant jingling. It is so distracting. But yeah, as promised, I am in the office and I'm gonna show you kind of what it looks like, like flooring. So this is how we are currently looking. We've got the shelves. They've been on a journey with me. They've been through three properties now, four rooms. They've literally been bouncing around. So this weekend, I am gonna get the little metal bits off of them because they used to have doors. I'm going without the doors. Now, I think at some point if I like them enough and I decide to keep these, I'll have them like screwed together and kind of built so that they look like they're meant to be there, you know? Got my my lovely chair, which is just chilling there. Got the curtains, which are, I need to get a steamer for them because my steamer is currently elsewhere. Everyone is working from home at the moment, so half my stuff has just like disappeared. Yeah, we also have my West Elm units over here with bits on the top, which are ready to kind of be styled on my bookshelves. This weekend, I'm gonna back away, the light is weird. This weekend, Ryan is gonna help me get the last finishing touches together in here. But until then, I think this room is gonna have to wait because I'm being really disciplined with myself. I truly believe that discipline, being like disciplined 90% of the time is actually like a key factor in being happy in life. That sounds so boring. But sometimes I think you need to do the boring stuff before you get onto the fun stuff and it makes you happier in the long run. And I know if I sort the rest of my house out, once I get this room done, I'm like done and it's gonna be such a great feeling. Whereas if I do this room, style it all, I've got the boring stuff to do after. So it's a bit like eating your broccoli first. Even though I love broccoli, but I still always eat it first. Also, I'm wearing the most makeup that I've worn in such a long time today. I did my makeup on my sofa, which is basically like a shining beacon of light at the front of my house at the moment. Like it's just like in direct sunlight. And you know when you do your makeup in direct sunlight and you don't realize how much you're putting on. I have so much bronzer on, it should not be legal. So yeah, you're like, whoa, what, what is she doing today? It's not meant to be like this. I was going for a minimal look, <laughs> always the way. I need to figure out a way to look good without wearing makeup because I don't even like make an effort with, I just, it's zero or like a hundred with me. I need to find this like nice middle ground. But yeah, in addition to the bits here, this is my, I think you saw this in the last vlog. This is my jug that I put back together. So proud. No one believed it will work. No one, no one have faith. I have faith. Thank you, Kate Levy and everyone. So many people <laughs> suggested this and I was like, what is that kit? I don't really understand what the people are talking about. And then Kate messaged me like, dude. She, no, she didn't say that. But she was like, you need to do this kit because you need to look it up. And I was like, queen has spoken. She's like queen of interiors. So thank you to everyone, the hundreds of people that recommended that Japanese fixing kit. It's amazing. So yeah, we also have storage boxes from Ikea, which are ready to have things stored in them. So I'm gonna be doing that today. I'm so excited. Never been so excited to file things in my entire life. And then we have the pièce de résistance which is gonna go on my desk. I very rarely use my iMac. It's been at my mum's for the longest time. I also have deliveries to go through with you. I think there are more arriving today, which I'm very excited about. So I'm gonna save them all for one, like sit down later on in the vlog and I'll go through them with you rather than doing it in dribs and drabs. But right now, we're gonna go sort my life out. Yeah, haven't done one of these segments in a vlog in a while, but you're about to see some montages. I hope you enjoy it. To everyone that said they missed the vlogs, you asked for this, so don't complain. Also, we have a very echoey wardrobe room. This, it looks so much bigger right now than it actually is. You can tell this is, a, this is actually not a very big radiator, just for scale. But yeah, I think, hopefully, this whole back wall will be wardrobes, but we just need to figure out if this can be wide enough with the radiator here without having to move it, because this is gonna be such a pain to, because I don't have like anything under my house. God, it's so echoey. I'm just gonna move here slightly better the floors don't have like floorboards underneath you know where in some houses you would run pipes underneath the floorboards mine are all like within the walls <laughs> so if you go into my loft there's like gaps between the walls it's crazy i've never really seen a bungalow properly like this like my grandparents have one my parents have one but it's like a chalet so it's been built up into the roof so it's not really the same but mine in certain places has like gaps in the wall and you run 
things down. Yeah, it's probably like really common, but I'm just like new homeowner here, you know, bear with me. But because of that, you can't run anything under the floor in this house. Like it is all just like concrete. So to redo that pipe work, <sighs> I don't even want to think about like it would just be quite long I think and especially now I've had the floor done I'm like no no we're not doing that but yeah I'm gonna fill that room with all the things that need to live in there all of the stuff that needs to live in my office is obviously going to be relocated to the office it's kind of all kind of been in there for a while to be honest and then that project is probably going to extend into the new year I think maybe maybe around Christmas if I'm lucky I have been told there is availability to maybe do it around Christmas but it depends on the logistics of that room and what happens with lockdown whether it's like tightened extended you know not sure so yeah that is ongoing and yeah anyway i need to get sourcing this because as you can see these rooms are full and they need to not be because i need to be a zen human being again We had a slight mishap this afternoon when I was bringing the stuff in here my camera battery died so I finished off this room which I'll show you in a second and what I decided to do whilst I was waiting because basically I have one camera battery in this house and stupidly I left the rest at Ryan's house so I luckily have spare charges so we are back in business but in the meantime I decided to do some gardening so it wasn't something that I really planned on showing you guys so I've also in that time mowed my lawn stripped out all of the tomatoes replaced a few of my vegetables vegetables that I felt like could do with a bit more space and I've also decided I've got a few nail breakages sadly and I've made the decision that I'm just going to cut my nails super short again so lockdown Susie is like officially like it's day two but she's back in business this is where we are at I didn't do any of the other stuff that I was going to do any of the interesting like fun stuff because I didn't want you guys to miss out on it and I wanted to do it with you and to be honest like there is still a lot of sorting to do and anything I could do to not do it I did, so that, hence the mowing my lawn. The getting my Christmas tree out the garage and all of the gardening bits, like I've literally done everything. But anyway, I'm gonna show you this room. So it's not looking particularly cute right now. This is gonna be amazing when I eventually have like super, super high wardrobes and I can have like two levels because at the moment you can see there's a lot of wasted space. I actually need to get in here and measure this wall later. So I haven't put a lot up against here. I have another rail here, which Ryan has lent me. And I also over here have another rail, which I'm gonna use for Depop stuff. And what I'm gonna be doing in the next kind of week or so is a big like beauty clear out, which I don't think you guys will benefit from because I think it's mostly like old makeup, but I'm also just gonna go through everything and pick out a few things to Depop. I've also got some other that I've set aside to Depop which are behind me. I've got a mirror over here which I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this mirror. It was a purchase for an old place that I lived in and I really don't use it anymore. These Ikea boxes I bought which were actually for the office. They come out too far for the bookcases which is annoying and I should have measured rookie mistakes. So I'm gonna get some smaller ones but they are actually really saving me because I can put all of my jeans and stuff like that which were on the bookcase in here I can put them in here and not have my clothes on the floor which is amazing because I was a bit like what am I going to do with my jeans and like my sweatshirts but yeah it's all looking really tidy then behind here we have the West Elm shelving I'm not into these ladder shelves anymore but they are coming in very handy right now because I have a lot of stuff but yeah this is the room of doom which is looking less doomy than usual and much lighter than usual this room would have been super dark and you wouldn't be able to see anything before so it's looking much better my kitchen is looking worse than it actually is we've got the christmas tree which i brought in over there because i was just really scared it's only been in the garage for a little while but i was scared it was gonna have spiders so i needed to check it and then stuff i need to sort through so yeah i need to go through all of this decide what i want to keep decide what i'm gonna like donate i think a lot of the makeup I haven't touched in a long time, so I need to check and see if some of it is good, you know? Just decide if Stitch is going up in the loft. Sorry, honey. I need to decide what to do with you. My bedroom is looking much more like a bedroom, which is fab, because <laughs> it did not look like this earlier. And then the office is looking very manageable. Like, I'm actually surprised there's not been more dumped here for me to sort. The light in this room is good. 
This is a good office room. I am very happy with my life choices right now. I'm probably gonna save all of the sorting for tomorrow because Ryan is gonna be putting my desk together. So I'm gonna like do my sorting whilst he is doing that. But yeah, I'm so excited to get this done. I don't know whether to unbox some things with you today. Shall I? Yeah, let's do it. Hang on. There are some big boxes up in here. So I have one, two, three, four, five kind of ish things to show you. Right. This box is actually so big, I don't know how to open it. Oh, help me. So if you've made it this far into the video, you have reached a section which is kindly a paid for integrated advertorial with Senio. The short term for that is Ad. I'm very excited to be working with them as some of you will know I worked with them before you guys will know I'm not the biggest fan of like gallery walls like I love them I love them in other people's homes but for me it's just like too much like I have to live here so though it might look nice on Instagram like for me it's just a bit too busy I've had them when I've lived in previous flats before and I've used Senio and their frames for those gallery walls but it's not the vibe that I'm going for here however what I have really wanted is a square of four frames and I've got a few places where these might go. I wanted this size in particular but I wasn't sure whether it would work in this room which fingers crossed it will but if not there was a place in the living room where I also really wanted to put a square of four prints in square frames. It's like black and white photos that kind of vibe and I've also picked up some extra prints as well to use in other places in my house and I'm gonna like cut them down to size and kind of make it a little bit like abstract but I'm excited to show you what I got for this room. Okay so if you don't know Desenio do frames and prints and they're just such a good go-to for frames because they do so many different sizes and styles and like the different shapes as well so you can get square ones but you can also get kind of more rectangular ones i do have a code coming up that is going to be going live with them tomorrow morning but i'm really excited because i know lots of you loved it the last time i worked with them and if you want to recreate the kind of look that i'm going for then you have a discount code to do that with as well so i picked up four of the 50 by 50 black frames. I think this would look amazing. Like I've got a big stretch of wall behind my sofa and I think this would look amazing there. Or also on the wall when you come into the living room, it could look incredible, but it could also look really good in here. I'm gonna have to basically pick a place. I just knew that was a feature that I really wanted in this property. And then we have my artwork. I love the way it arrives and it just keeps everything so nice. <laughs> So pretty. Oh. This opening print in particular is just stunning. I absolutely love it. It's so gorgeous. It's just like a woman standing in. But I think it's sand and you have a shadow and it's just so beautiful. I really love that print. And this was a style of print I really wanted where it's almost like mounted and you've got like a big white border around it. So I picked up quite a few of those. Right, this is gonna be hard to show you without screwing up my prints. So we're gonna have to do a like bird's eye view of these. Okay, so this is print number one, print number two, number three. It's just some wheat, very cute. And then number four. I'm not sure what this is exactly. It kind of looks like reeds over water that are like blowing in the breeze, but let me know what you think this is because this one's like a little bit abstract to me. And also this one. So the last two I'm planning on putting kind of elsewhere in my house and kind of cutting them up, like I said, and making them a little bit abstract. And I like the idea of getting a little bit creative with the prints in terms of that, but they're all so beautiful. The black and white ones that they have on their website are really stunning and you can like filter them by like, if you want black and white, if you want images of people. So yeah, I love the quality. I really rate Senio. They also do mounts as well, which they didn't have those for my frame size I think in stock but yeah it's also a great place to get mounts as well so I'm going to show you what those look like when they are up we're probably going to put them up tomorrow I think I've got command strips to test it with first because I kind of want to know that I want something somewhere first and that it looks good and then do the kind of like nailing things to my wall kind of vibe but yeah really excited to get those up i've got so much to show you so this purchase is a nice basic essential for the office that was definitely necessary we have a very simple but still lovely lampshade which actually matches the curtains in here perfectly i'm so happy with that it's just a nice kind of big round one really easy to put up it's going to match the fixtures that i've already got in there so i don't need to change it i'm really happy that i didn't go for like a pendant light that i would need someone else to kind of like put in for me i like the fact that i can literally put this up myself next i have a few things from the white company i've got this diffuser which i already unboxed because uh, it arrived last week and i just couldn't help myself but this is the fig tree diffuser which i think i'm gonna have in this room once the Zara one, that is the Zara one 
from my old flat like in the entranceway it is still kicking the zara signature number two love but i do want something i love a figgy fragrance and i think it's such a nice one to have in an office it's very fresh it's not too distracting i just love the white company boxes so much they're so cute so we have the oat colored like cashmere socks i love these lauren got me a pair for my birthday and i love them so much that i was like i'm gonna need a second pair because i wear them out so quickly especially when you've got like hardwood flooring <laughs> next we have a big one i don't know why this is this big what did I order? Oh, oh yeah, okay. I love Zara Home. Let's try not to break anything as I unbox it this time, guys. Whereas that Japanese repairing kit is gonna have to come right back out. Okay, so in addition to the lovely lampshade that I ordered from Maid, I have also got a very cute little lamp from Zara Home. It's got this stone kind of concrete base to it, which is so lovely. If you've watched my videos before, you'll know I love the one that is in my bedroom. It's like this nude colored like textured stone base so gorgeous so i picked up like a smaller version of it with a concrete base for this office which i thought would just work really really beautifully at bringing in some like natural tones and texture and it would also give like a nice glow to the room without me necessarily having to have the main light on i love lamps rather than like full-on lights i think everyone else i know just turns on like the main light in my house and it like hurts my soul this box was so big for these two items this is so so gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this. I know not everyone is gonna love this, but I am absolutely obsessed with this. It's so cute. I can't wait to have this on display, maybe on my windowsill, maybe on like, I don't know, one of the chest of drawers. It would look really cute with like hydrangeas, either like bunched or some more wispy, like dried leaves. But it's this gorgeous textured vase. It's actually like a collaboration with Jade Payton. But yeah, so cute. Can't wait to have that out. I also have something that I ordered which I don't think I showed you yet. I showed you the other vase, which I broke, but I have something else which I don't think I showed you. Now, you're either gonna love this or you're gonna hate it because it's a real Marmite one. <laughs> I got a weird giant head and I love it. So this, I think I'm gonna put on these shelves. So what you can do is like rearrange the shelves to be different heights and I'm definitely gonna do that so that it is tall enough to fit this in at some point but yeah it's so creepy like i do find it very very creepy reminds me of like that doctor who episode where the stone things come to life my weird creepy head like the camera is actually focusing on this head in addition to mine this is freaking me out <laughs> i also got a little vegetable bag and a doorstop from zara home so i'm gonna show you those as well you know me i love to show you all my things so this is my doorstop which i got from zara home it's really plain and simple but it's just this nice kind of almost like a linen material doorstop it's very kind of like weighty so it holds the story nicely this door just always wants to shut and it's a nice neutral color which i was finding really hard to find yeah very happy with my little doorstop and it will look cute like i said in other areas of the house but it works nicely in here as well and then we also have my little vegetable bag which is just so cute so i keep my potatoes in here at the moment but i thought if i ever get to the point of harvesting actual vegetables for my garden that i could also use this as well my vegetable bed is like right by my back door so i don't really need like a basket or anything like that some people i know are really cute and they have like actual baskets but i don't think that's going to be necessary for me i don't think i'm going to be able to grow that much but this would be handy for that but it also works really well for my potatoes of which i have a lot because ryan and i have been making loads of roast dinners and i now always have a supply of potatoes which i never thought would happen i'm also going to show you my veg patch before it gets dark my veg patch is now looking much barer than it did before i can't remember if some of you might have seen it when the tomato plants were like they had taken over it was great i was growing tomatoes i feel like i showed you that in the last vlog those tomatoes are not ripening and it's really bugging me i think it's just getting a little bit cold for them now and they're just like oh honey i've had this so i don't know there's one tomato that's huge and i don't know if i'll pick it if it will ripen and change color i don't know like i say i don't really know what i'm doing i'm kind of learning by trial and error which is the best way for me to learn to be honest i tend to not listen to people <laughs> my mum will be watching this like yes but yeah i'm not sure i'm gonna google it it's probably the best thing to do so i'm gonna show you what i've got out there but the tomato plants have been severely cut back so pre-warned it looks a bit sad so this is what we are working with out here it's much more fun up here these patches here were where the tomato plants were so i've kind of like rejigged things and moved things around this is my giant tomato like look at these are meant to be cherry tomatoes look at the size of them i do not get that in the supermarket not sure i've cut everything else back i hope that was the right thing to do but not sure whether to pick those and especially those these ones i don't think are going to survive but i don't know whether to pick these and see if they'll ripen my lettuces are just 
thriving. Cabbage is looking good. They are a little bit too close together. I planted these when they were about this big. So, you know, I don't, I'm scared to move them too much now. This broccoli is doing amazingly well. It was kind of shielded a lot by the tomato plant. So I'm wondering if I've maybe doomed it now, but I brought the soil up around all of these a little bit higher so that they're not like swinging around in the wind. We have my kale, again, thriving. Broccoli, sour broccoli. Mm, not sure what's gonna happen to that one. Oregano, which Ryan's mum kindly gifted me. Is this thriving? I'm just not sure. We then have some baby rocket that's just growing. But yeah, I'm gonna go back inside now because it's actually freezing. <sighs> Temperature has dropped. That was so cold. Like, I'm still not warm. I'm still not feeling warm. Yeah, so I think next spring the lower bed down the side of the garden is going to be a new project for me when we went to the pig hotel in the new forest they have the most beautiful gardens just they're just gorgeous but there was lots of like rosemary mixed with lavender and that lots of that just kind of like on repeat dotted around and it really does look so beautiful so i think i'm probably going to go for something like that i feel like lavender will be quite good for the garden because like i think bees really like it so yeah something like that with maybe like some other little bits potted in there but yeah i'm looking forward to doing that next spring but until then i will see if i can ripen my one fully grown tomato and my lettuce are they done uh, can i pick them i don't know let's turn the light on it's so dark in here but i also picked this eucalyptus from my garden my eucalyptus tree is like dying which is very very annoying because all i really wanted was a eucalyptus tree no matter where i put it it was not growing so it went very like silvery which i don't think is right but what i decided to do was just pick it and put it in here in this vase from i believe this was wayfair and it works really nicely with the color of the kitchen so i'm just kind of rolling with the very gray theme that's going on in here but it's nice and it looks kind of christmasy because it's a bit silver so i yeah i'm just rolling with it ah you know i did think it looked too tidy in here that's about right this is probably what it's going to look like all the time in here smaller prints that I got from Decenio, which are also to kind of like chop and change with. How beautiful is this one? Paris. <laughs> yeah, very Parisian vibes over here. This one is so beautiful. Now there's new beds arrived. I'm so excited. Look. Look, she's wagging her tail. Come on. What is this? Yeah. You're so good. So at Ryan's house, she has this bed that she is obsessed with because we were in pets at home and she actually just went and sat in this bed and she wouldn't get out of it. So we had to buy it for her. So it's now her bed at Ryan's and she loves it. And I basically got really jealous and decided that she needed a new bed. You would look so cute in it. I think this is gonna look so cute in my bedroom. Oh yeah, there we go. So cute, I'm so happy with this. The makeup is off. I've got YouTube on my TV. I've got a gin. I use strawberries as ice cubes because I forgot to get ice cubes. Actually the best thing that I think has ever happened to me. Mm. So good. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? I'm all good. How are you? I'm good. I'm very happy because the people loved you in our video together. Of course they did. Even Lauren texted me, she was like, the comments are so nice. Like, I love how much everyone loves Ryan. She was like, obviously I knew everyone would love him, but they're so vocal. Yeah. So. Oh God, I can't even <laughs> no. I'm relieved because if people were mean about you, I would be really like sad. I don't think I'd be making videos anymore, but thank you everyone. It was very nice to Ryan. Thanks guys. We really appreciate it. And if you haven't seen our video, you need to go and watch it whilst Ryan is watching the broccoli. everybody welcome to diy day take two in the house i don't know why i'm calling it that i don't feel like there's that much diy involved there's ryan rustling in the background we've just been for a little shop in sainsbury's and then i also had to pop to b and q which was like next door it's gonna be like a quick in and out trip i came out with some garden christmas things <laughs> like I've, I've decided i'm having like a whole family of like reindeer ryan was like Christmas lights for the outside of the house, like things to hang the Christmas lights on so that I can like do the outside of the house. I can't wait, I can't wait till this is all done so that I can start with the festive vlogs because I'm just really feeling it this year. Not that I'm gonna be able to show you the front of my house, which is really sad, but 
I'm just doing it for me because it'll bring me joy. It's gonna look so cute. Let me tell you, with what I did to the front of the house, it's gonna look so festive. Let me show you. There we are. Simple but effective. It's looking kind of crazy in here because Ryan has started like mapping out the desk. Good morning. Have you just had your breakfast? And Mr. Ryan is in here taking a picture of his food shop. Taking a picture of cheeses. Mmm. We've decided we're gonna have like a mac and cheese vegan mac and cheese dinner. Ryan has also converted me to the most boring cereal in the world. How, how do you do this? I You've got me it. eating like vegan food as well. You went snooping around my cupboards and found it. <laughs> I was I really hungry. Eaten like that in ages. <laughs> I was so hungry. You know, it sounds as if I like eat it all the time and I've been like, oh, Well, I that's the only, that is the only cereal you have in your cupboards. Yeah, so. I don't eat it, so it's still left. <laughs> I also bought a wreath holder. So I'm very excited to order my Christmas wreath. I think I'm gonna get like one made. Maybe, I'm very excited. Someone's got a new White Company jumper. Yes, guys, the White Company are doing jumpers. It's a little bit big of her. It's a small, can you believe? I'm gonna see if they do an extra small, but it is so soft. They do a matching human one as well, and I might have to get it. So what's that thing behind you? Oh, you are my dream man, you know? I know. <laughs> Builds things, makes yummy food. So my camera battery annoyingly died. I've left all of my batteries at Ryan's. I feel like we had this issue yesterday. So it's just continuing today. I would have loved to have had like a little montage sped up of Ryan building this. There would have just been a lot of him looking concerned and then me looking concerned after you see him go, Oh, so yeah, that is where we are at at the moment. I've done lots of filing. All of my little filing bits are ready to go in the shelves. I've got loads of old documents that are boring to go in the loft. Really haven't missed much, so flash forward to when the desk is done, basically. <laughs> Are getting there it is also getting dark so Woo! how cute is the lamp this needs to all be sorted but oh so cute my skincare has been done i have green stuff all over my face and i'm eating vegan cheese and crackers i got this from sainsbury's earlier it's so good this cheese in particular like i know i'm gonna like this one we have it in great tip form all the time i'm gonna try this one now but oh my god and i'm having it with I don't know if these are actually vegan. Rosemary crackers. Oh. Happy Sunday from my green little alien face. I've just been for a walk and like me, the weather could not decide on what it was doing. So I have a very weird mix of leggings, a crop top, and then a jump around my waist because I got hot halfway through. It's now freezing. I'm pretty sure it's now raining. Office makeover day three. the shelving is looking so far there is definitely a lot of room to play about here i will probably be here for you know the rest of my life trying to make this perfect but it's going to be a fun little project it's actually really nice that i've got so much kind of space to play with so much storage space this is actually going to work really really nicely really like the way they look on the shelving it's really like nice and 
neat and I think it'd be cute if there's a few more of them dotted around. I've got loads of shelving to play with down here which I will probably use for more like box storage because you won't be able to see it straight away when you walk in. So up here will probably be more decorative and then down below will be more practical. But yeah, I've got so much storage on this desk to play with. I still have storage here, which is great. So this is gonna be, I think, still beauty storage for the time being, maybe, we will see. So this is how things are kind of looking on that side of the room. I think I'm gonna put my Desenio prints up here. Very excited to do that. Once this is all cleared off, I think that will be a really nice big space to work with. I was originally gonna go for here, but I actually think the height of the computer screen will kind of like maybe cover where I wanted them to be slightly. It would fit, but I just think this wall is such a big, open space and I think it would look a lot better. So that's where I'm gonna go for it. I've got my command strips here. I'm gonna have Ryan help me because I'm really not sure what I'm doing. I've never done this before, I'm scared. Okay guys, the moment of truth. We are getting ready to put the frames on the wall. I'm so nervous. I think Ryan's quite nervous as well. <laughs> We're both quite nervous. It's always a bit of a moment when you're filming something, you're like, oh, does this have room to go wrong? I'm just so in love with these prints. I just love the Desenio artwork. They do like really on trend stuff and then they have some really like classic things as well and they update all of their prints really regularly. So like I was saying earlier in the video, I have a discount code, you can get 40% off prints. So yeah, you can get the Black Friday deal that they're doing before the rush with my VIP code, which I will have put on the screen for you. So it's valid from literally like midnight on Tuesday for 24 hours. really is boyfriend material. We'll see if it stays up. Living up to the sweatshirt, yeah. We did say like, imagine if we're just <laughs> asleep in bed and, at night and it just like falls down. That was stressful. That was worse than building Ikea furniture, mostly because you take over the Ikea furniture. I think it's just because it's maths and I'm like, is that hard? Yeah, I just can't even write down numbers. So I have to take Ryan's lead on the maths. It looks really good. I think especially when I finally have like just one unit here, maybe eventually it will look much better. Cause right now we've got a lot of different like lines yeah. going on here. I can breathe now. I'm gonna go take a break. So Ryan has left me to cook lunch. I have been left to my own devices. Yeah, I'm making like a courgette. This actually really needs stirring. I've literally just come in here. Ooh. I keep backtracking and going and sitting in my office and just being like, <sighs> so nice. But yeah, I'm making a soup. Like I said, God, I can't stick to a tangent anymore. I swear lockdown has ruined me. I don't know how to conversate. I'm making a soup <laughs> which has courgette, spinach, kale, potato. It's about to have some roasted peppers in it. Some applewood vegan cheese, just to give it a little bit of like smoky taste because it was very green for a bit. Garlic, salt, pepper. I'm gonna put some rosemary in because basically Brian's not cooking a roast today, which I'm really sad about. I'm saying this really quietly because he's gonna think I'm like shaving him. I miss my roast. So I'm basically doing everything that would normally be in a roast. My soup is ready. Oh my God, it tastes so good. Let me tell you. Also made some sweet potato chunks on the side in case I really ballsed up the soup. Good morning everybody. I thought before I end this vlog I would show you how the office is looking. It's been a little while and I have a few more finishing touches than I did the other day. Unfortunately lots of stuff still hasn't arrived so there are like storage boxes that fit 
the bookshelves which I'm still waiting on so I'm still waiting for a few little bits that I can then put all of my like books into it's just going to be like nice clean storage boxes and then all of my like very colourful <laughs> books are just going to be hidden in the storage boxes so that the shelves kind of have a really nice cohesive style but yeah still waiting on those I had to order the Ikea boxes but from Amazon because it's locked down and Ikea just won't deliver to me which is just really nice of them so i thought i'd give you a proper look over the office i've actually already filmed this once before but didn't show you one side of the office i only showed you like one bit and i was like what am i doing what am i doing second time lucky here we go final ish reveal i'll probably once this is fully done like everything is fully done and really really perfect i'll probably take you through absolutely everything so if you want details i will kind of like go through that at some point but i feel like from the past couple of videos you'll know where the majority of things that you can see are from so this is how things are looking it's actually a very gloomy day today but it still looks really bright in here i'm pretty sure when i filmed this before it was so sunny and so beautiful but we'll just we'll just work with this this room is really gorgeous when the light is like streaming in I just love it. Two things that were very important to me in my home office were the lighting and also that my desk doesn't face a wall. If you followed me for a while, you definitely will have heard me say before I can't face a wall when I work. It's like a recipe for zero concentration, getting nothing done. I'm a bit of a claustrophobe. So being able to see out into the room, being able to see out into my hallway and being able to like chat to Ryan, for example, without him having to actually come and like be in the room is kind of nice. Just the positioning of this office is perfect. And I'm so happy with how this turned out. I love the desk. I liked the Hermes one because it looks nice from kind of the back of the desk as well. And it also looks nice from the other side and has the drawers and the cupboards, etc. But it's perfect for if you do want to have a desk that is floating in the middle of a room. I do get it's probably not for everyone. I think lots of people would like to have more of an open space in the middle of their room. But for me, it's just not really essential. This room is purely for working. It's purely my home office. So I didn't really need a lot of floor space in the middle. And yeah, I just, I love the way it looks, especially with my computer on it. I think it looks really great. And then the shelves behind are just so gorgeous to look at. But when I'm working, I'm not facing the shelves. So I'm not distracted by anything on them. And for Zoom chats, I have have the best background i have actually said yes to some zoom meetings now my managers were absolutely flawed so i can't remember if i've showed you the shelving before in this vlog i think i have but you'll see there have been some extra additions lots of diptyque candles basically dotted everywhere i don't think they'll all stay but just for now in terms of like filling a little bit of space i thought i'd play around some of you might recognize a couple of little bits from my last home office as well but yeah i really love the vibe and the way this is looking and i like how much extra space there is for me to grow into so as you can see we've got loads of extra space down here which i am loving a little space for my tripod here which is great also very happy with my lampshade choice it just fits the room perfectly and really really happy that i didn't go with anything on this wall because this one is just looking so great. I'm really, really happy with how these pictures have come out. Ryan and I spent so long <laughs> just trying to make sure all of the measurements were perfect. And if I'm being very honest, I am very proud of us because this could have been an absolute disaster. Neither of us really knew what we were doing. But yeah, it actually works really nicely with these two dresses. And I don't hate these anymore. Like they're just, they're gonna be fine for now. I actually really like them. I now wish that I had the double one of this. Or is it a double one of this? I can't remember. One of these comes as like a double on my stem. And I actually would quite like to have the longer one. But very unnecessary. But yeah, I love how this looks. And I love that when I sit at my desk, that is what I see. And it's nice and calming. It's not too busy. And I actually have been getting a lot done in this room. So yeah, that's kind of how things are looking. I'm Honestly, I am so happy with it. I know it's probably not going to be for everyone. But I love it. So pretty. I'm also very excited because once this video is live, it means I can finally post all of this on Instagram. I've been holding off for so long, <laughs> for so long. And I love showing you guys stuff on Instagram. It's really difficult when I'm this ahead in videos. I just can't, I can't be on Instagram. I have to like log off because otherwise I'm like, I'm gonna spoil it for everyone. I also really enjoy watching this vlog back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a really, really nice one for me to kind of watch back and see the process of. So I hope you've enjoyed that. And if you like the home content, there is gonna be a lot of like Christmassy 
home content coming up so i've already started on that i'm so excited no way you will already know there will have already been a christmasy vlog i will link that at the top of the screen if you want to go and watch it it's my like christmas come shopping with me i don't really know what i'm calling it yet but yeah that is also so exciting so i hope you guys are looking forward to that i'm doing the kind of like putting my tree together and all of that this week and i am just like in my element i'm loving life this is the kind of joy i needed you know like two christmas trees loads of christmas decorating I love it I'm here for it I'm really ready as well to do all of the Christmas Eve vlogs they're just my favorites they're my favorites to watch back as well I know this year will probably be a little bit different but no doubt I still love watching them back so I hope you guys will love them as well there'll be hopefully a few of them coming up but yeah I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video and I will see you guys again in my next one bye